Now, as we all know, Minecraft YouTubers are a very interesting specimen because even though they've got the bodies of humans, they've got the brains of mentally retarded ostriches. This doesn't apply to every single Minecraft YouTuber because there's lots of Minecraft YouTubers who are actually good. But unfortunately, there seems to be a lot of Minecraft YouTubers who are joining this cult of retards. And one of the most popular members of this cult is BeastChurker73, or as I like to call him, the human equivalent of an STD. So what what kind of content does this individual with over a million subscribers on YouTube post on his channel? Well, let's see. Minecraft, but it's a hundred years in the future! Whoa, we have flying cars now? Okay, so we are five seconds in and already I feel like I overdosed on heroin. So you can already tell that BeastChurger73 is just another generic Minecraft comfort streamer. Actually, the term comfort streamer is a bit too inaccurate. I think therapists for the fatherless would do better. Oh look, food! I'll take one of those hollow burgers. Wait, why can't I eat this? Because it's virtual food. No one here actually eats anything. Well then what's the point? I don't know. What's the point of you making content for special ed kids. Like, what is the appeal of these videos? Is it the acting? I've seen better acting in lesbian porn. This isn't a normal door, and this isn't a normal village. Below this village is one month's worth of TNT, and I tricked the two strongest members of the fake SMP to follow me back to my base. I'm pretty sure that Russians could use this video as evidence that they should cut themselves from the global internet. Oh no, I hope you don't come inside and take all my diamonds. This door is booby trap trapped isn't it what no no just just open it we could just break the window okay no that's hacking i'll just bring the diamonds out to you no wait come back oh sh if you are a fatherless 12 year old and you find this video enjoyable tell me what is wrong with you? You could be watching Vanos Gaming right now. You could be watching Top Gear right now. You could be watching a video on how to commit tax fraud. You could be watching anything better than this cringe shit. Minecraft, but if I stop singing, the video ends. We don't talk about Obama's last name. If I was an executive at Disney and I saw that a fucking cringe Minecraft YouTuber took one of our songs and turned it into a complete shit show, I would shoot myself. Mainly cause we don't know it. Hey! It was my wedding day. Wedding day. I was getting married to Obama to learn his last name. And sell it on me. But Ben Twashorts walks in with the weird little twin. It's at this point where my brain cells start to degenerate and slowly spill out of my mouth. YouTube has come at this point where you don't even have to try to be funny. You could literally make the most unfunniest joke in the world and you would still get views and likes. I know that comedy changes and evolves all the time, but can you please explain to me, how is this evolution? To distract me and Obama ran away. Seven foot frame suit along his back when he calls in the drones. No, you're not coming back. Roger, Roger. Yeah, he sees your location of his military screen. Oh, why did I try to find out? So Beast Charger is trying to make a joke about Obama's drone strikes, but how does this connect in any way, shape or form to the storyline of him trying to find his last name by marrying him? I have seen videos of torture that are funnier than this. He's playing on my Earth SMP and decided to visit my familia in Mexico because I'm Mexican when I put myself in this prison. That doesn't sound like a very interesting story. You could have made a video in which you were put into prison by a Mexican drug cartel. That could have been a much more interesting video, but unfortunately, you have about as much creativity as the people who made 13 Reasons Why. I told myself if I couldn't escape, there would be no more Taco Tuesdays. Oh no! Inside the prison was a Taco Bell, a donkey, which was actually just my alt account, and a guy named Bruno, who we're not going to talk about. In the end, I couldn't escape. What I needed to do was buy some Taco Bell, give it to Bruno, who would then call his sister Luisa to pick up the donkey uncovering a secret way out. I wonder if this guy watches the Encanto movie every single day, because because if he does, he's a fucking pedo. But anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and for all of your support. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, turn notifications on. Please comment because it really helps me out in the algorithm. Also, join my new Discord server. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.